Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So my tennis pro, Gabriel, said, can I get a uh, whiteout 1820 extended from you? I'm like, did I make an extended? Stay tuned. All right, so coffee sponsor of today comes from my coffee club member, Chase. My man Chase has been getting me coffee for a lot of months now, probably a year and a half's worth. <laughs> so Chase has been hooking me up every month for the last 18 months, once a month as a coffee sponsor. So thank you, Chase, for constantly supporting my coffee habit and the channel and having me awake, alert, and able to speak to you every morning. Yeah, I'm here guys. Um, you actually hooked me up today with the Mocha Java from Pete's, which is my favorite blend and the most expensive bean they got there. Not that that's because it's my favorite blend because it's expensive but it's good. All right. Uh, if you want to be part of my coffee club or just hook me up with the coffee network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. If you want to hook up the channel, super thanks is another way. The link is below. Thank you guys so, so much. Here's to you, Chase. Yeah. Ooh, my favorite mocha java. Yeah, they, this expensive stuff, I noticed that they only do like once or twice a week and you gotta have to catch them just right because usually it's house blend, Major Dickerson, you know, whatever, the, the cheap stuff that they blend together. But whenever I ask for this stuff, they go, oh, Friday, oh, Saturday. Well, sometimes I don't come those days. So, but anyways, all right. It's good. I like that. Mocha Java, guys. All right, so my buddy Gabriel, teaching pro, he's like, hey, I want that whiteout in the 1820. I'm like, yeah, I could do that. Extended. I'm like, oh, did they make that? Um, so, guys, Selenko, uh, they didn't tell me they made a long 1820. A lot of people don't. Can you guys think of an 1820 that's long? I can't, except for another company. No, they don't make it, actually. So I said, Norm, KT, Stan, what's up, dude? You guys didn't tell me. Like, oh, yeah, huh? <laughs> well, here it is, 1820, <laughs> 305. Who would have thought? So obviously, I strung it with what we like to call confidential and we like to keep it confidential for everyone and I'm actually going to go try it myself before uh, giving this over to my buddy Gabriel so let's go test it out Guys, are you tired of playing against the ball machine? The ball machine always wins. And you're not really getting any interaction with people. How about playing with somebody at your level or maybe a little bit better than you that can improve your game? There's 27,000 people nationwide waiting for you to play with. It's all at playyourcourt.com. 
you can find your new tennis friend, join local leagues, all for less than $5 a month. You'll have access to players at your level, your speed, and make some new tennis friends. Check it out at playercourt.com forward slash tennis spin. Link is below. All right, so we just got off the court reviewing Whiteout 305, 18 by 20, Extended. Ooh. Ooh. Coach Goo, what do you think of the Extended? I like the Extended with what selenko has been doing so far. Um, the 1820, I loved already. Um, like I said before, Slinko's doing a great job. Um, 1820 extended. I think I prefer this extended over the 1619. Really? In my opinion. I think it's way, uh, the weight distribution is a lot cleaner versus hmm. the 16 by 19. The 1619 has more flex. It does have more flex, but you lack a little bit of stability and with the 16 to 19. Okay. But the 1820, it really delivers. It, it, you can feel the flex, but it's stable enough that you can give it some plow when it needs to go. Um, do I like it more than the 1820 regular? That's a tough question. Uh, I think I have to play more with it in order to figure that out. Um, but honestly, this is a really good extended version of an 1820 racket. There's not a lot of extended, I don't think there's any really of 18 by 20 extended rackets on the market, in my opinion. No, I don't, I don't think, think so. I don't think so, right? I could be wrong, but I don't think so. I, I think you're right. The Serena... Serena was extended, but it's a 1619, though, I believe, easy. right? I think you're right. I yeah, think it was 1619, right. but it's a 10, was it? 102, 102. right? Yeah. This is a, was it 98 still? 98. Yeah, 98 still, mm -hmm. yeah, 98. So 98 square inch, 18 by 20 extended version. And I really like it. It's very shocking to me. Um, great feel, great power, great distribution of the weight. I have no complaints whatsoever. Okay. I kind of agree with you. Um, kind of agree. I kind that's of agree a, that's with the first you. Time. Yeah, I, I actually enjoyed hitting with this. Um, maybe because I wasn't facing your ball on the other side. Yeah, you, Eugene, our hitting partner today, was was a good hitting partner. He he kind of set me up pretty good with these forehands. No, he he just felt really nice. <laughs> I, I can't tolerate you that much. So so I plowed through the ball really well with this. Um, it is a little muted. Yeah, there is a little mutant. Which, mutant, yeah. which I kind of got used to. Um, you didn't use a dampener, and you didn't complain. So yeah, I didn't use, you used a dampener, probably. I didn't oh, actually. Wow. No, no dampeners on for both of us. Oh wow! But it, if you hit it right, you do get a, a little bit of feedback, mm -hmm. uh, which is what I like. But um, the muting sensation is what I felt most of the time. Yeah. But I did get the right feedback on the right shots. Okay, so that's that what I liked about it. Okay. Um, just enough power. When I stepped in, I knew when I got lazy on it, it told me. So, so it's a very good response racket. Yes, I say. definitely. Okay. So as a, as a longer racket than an 1820, which like Goose said, is very rare. Um, this is probably the only thing in town if you yeah. want it longer. Uh, I think the biggest thing is just if you want a more lively at racket, that's the 1820. You just stick with the 1820 regular. Right. If you just want to be more explorative and you just wanted to try it outside the box, yeah, you can use this racket. I mean, it's it's not like not usable. <laughs> it's, mm -hmm. it's no, it, it, it no, works. Not it at works. All. Not it at actually all. plays well. It's just like I said, it's more about personal taste. If you if you're a person that likes immediate sensation when you hit through the ball. That's totally fine. If you like a person that loves to feel more, then go for it by all means. Yeah, I think they made this for that touring pro, um, that yeah. college player yeah. um, that wants an extended racket. And I'm sure it's, it's easily customizable for yeah. their spec, their weight, their balance. Uh, so I, I feel like, you know, if you're of the caliber that you want something slightly longer with a denser string pattern, possibly playing on clay in Europe. Yeah. There are three of the Europeans out there. <laughs> yeah. So definitely the European racket. Yeah. All right. Definitely give it a shot.
Coach Q, thank you for uh, reviewing the 1820 whiteout. Of course. Extend it with me. Of course. Where can they find you? You can find me at ag.tennis. I'll also be posting content there as well. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.